ugly. Five. 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 Who are the best and who are the worst NFL teams? It's Mike Gill's Fine Five and Ugly Five on 97.3 ESPN FM, South Jersey's football station. Time for the Fine Five, Ugly Five, Five Best, Five Worst Teams in the NFL. Kind of our power rankings of good and bad, if you will, after... Nine weeks. I was driving uh, my girlfriend to her car this morning, mm-hmm. and I was listening to uh, Levitard, and they were talking about week 10 of the I said, we're at double digits. Doesn't There's feel only like seven weeks left. And you, Seven. Dude, you know what's crazy, too? It, this is still completely wide open. Like, when, when we put this together, it's like, all right, this week, this makes sense. I mean, the same teams for a while now have essentially been top five, bottom five, but still completely wide open. Oh, the season, it's crazy how different. Like, five weeks from now, how things will be ah, so different. So different. Just Absolutely. unbelievable. Gotta love it. All right, find five, ugly five, five best, five worst. Who are the five worst teams in the league? Josh, number five. I'm going to go with the Giants, or mostly at five, because they didn't play last week. So they didn't give right. me an opportunity to get worse or get better. <laughs> right. So they're still one of the worst teams in the NFL, but... I just feel like the other teams ahead you're of them right them now. too much credit. Well, you know, yeah, I'm, I do too. I'm, 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 I'm giving them the bye week reprieve. All right. Friends up the road for me, uh, I'm a little harsher. But I get where you're going with it. For me, number five is the Cardinals, guys. Two and six. There's just, you know, there's about three, four, five teams there with a two and six, two and seven record. I mean, they're they're a mess. Josh Rosen, let's see what he does the remaining, uh, the remaining uh, way here in the NFL season. But I have the Cardinals at number five. You know, I've had the Cardinals all year, but I'm going to give them a break. They won last week. All right. So, Cleveland, you're in. Wow. Cleveland's Cleveland missed did. all year long for the most part. <laughs> and everybody you. thinks that because they won a couple of games, they tied a game, they played hard, they should have won games. It's no. America's team, man. They're the two, hard knocks team. Six and one. They fired their coach. They fired their coordinator. That team's a mess again. Mm. Maybe they're going in the right direction. But Greg Williams is your head coach right now. He's the guy representing your team. It's scary. So guess what? <laughs> Not Cleveland, boring, though. Welcome back. You've lost four in a row. You deserve number five in the ugly five. Number four, Ryan, who you got? <laughs> I have the 49ers. Nick Mullins. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that guy, I mean, come on. Give him some credit, but... No, the Niners, four, uh, two and seven. I almost said four and seven. By the way, a quick shout out. It's Hank's Hot Sauce. That's the hot sauce. Hank's Somebody Hot Sauce. Somebody tweeted at, at 973. Nice. Thanks for chiming it is in. Hanks. I'll have to look into that. I love me a good hot sauce. But anyway, a hot seat is uh, not really the case in the 49ers, but they're a mess. They're number four for me, guys, at two and seven. Uh, I have to agree with you on the four team, the 49ers as well. I know the Cardinals have beaten them twice, but I just feel like. The coach is so good at elevating that situation that he almost makes up for the disgrace that is that roster. Yeah, I got San Francisco as well. They actually pounded Oakland last week. They won by like 35 points. Unbelievable. You got to give them some credit. Yeah. Third string quarterback, too. With the third string quarterback. But I got him at number four. They're still a mess. They lost to Arizona, so I can't put Arizona. Twice. Yeah, twice. I can't put them <laughs> ahead of Arizona. They got to be number four in the <laughs> ugly five. Number three, Josh, you got. I got the Cardinals at three. I just feel like they, they have nice players. Rosen, Fitzgerald, Peterson, David Johnson. The rest of the team stinks. Mm. Number three for me, guys, is the Bills. The offense is absolutely terrible. Nathan Peterman shouldn't be starting at your local flag football YMCA league. So the Bills, for me, guys, are number three. Uh, I got the Bills, too. And uh, Casey Joyner was on Monday's show and said, statistically speaking, Nate Peterman might be the worst quarterback in NFL history. Wow. He's awful. Congrats. He's so bad. And he went to Pitt, so screw him. Woo! Uh, Number two, Ryan, who you got? The Oakland Raiders. I would love to put them at number one, but I have another team at number one for other reasons. The Raiders are an absolute mess, getting absolutely annihilated in every game at one and seven. John Gruden, was it worth it? I don't know. They're number two for me. My number two team is the Bills. Any team that continues to start Nate Peterman has to be either number one or number two. So for me this week, the that's Bills. That's a decent reason. Yeah, it's actually a really <laughs> strong reason. I mean, Nate Peterman is an abomination. 
Yeah. Well, I'm going Giants, too. They're a mess. I mean, offensive line hasn't been fixed for about five would years now. Would you take now. Eli or Peterman? Um, <laughs> I probably would take Peterman See? because <laughs> because I could at least have no problem benching him. Okay. What? Because I can't bench Eli because everybody bitches and moans. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I'm not saying no, I, I, better I than Eli. Saying. I'm saying the ability to tell my fan base I'm benching this guy would go over. You bench Eli, it goes over like a fart in church. I would want Can't Eli, do it. <laughs> a fart in church. I would want Eli just to bench him. You wouldn't have the. You want to bench him. You wouldn't have the stones to uh, bench him. I would love, benching, wants to bench I would love benching Eli. Uh, speaking of Eli, they're number one for me, guys. Eli and the Giants. Oh, my number one team is the Raiders. Yeah. That, that's Oakland's been consistent won. for me. Oakland's that organization is an embarrassment. Worst. John Gruden should be ashamed of himself. Derek Carr has regressed every year the last couple of years. Oh, my goodness. It's horrible to watch. They're yeah. a mess. They really are. They are one for me as well. All right, five, five. I think uh, my five, five are the same five teams. They're in different order this week. Okay. All right? Yeah. Number five. Last week I had Pittsburgh. Five, two, and one. I'm staying with the Steelers. Five, two, and one. I like what they've done. The running game. The kid Connor's been. You know, he's on pace to have a better year than than uh, Le'Veon Bell. It's crazy. I love it. Le'Veon Bell. You know what? You reap what you sow. He's not even going to play all year now. It's unbelievable what that guy did to potentially stunt his career long term. Number five for me, guys, is the Chargers. This is the one spot where there's some teams to choose from. I, I think the top four we're all going to have pretty similarly. I have the Chargers at number five. I'm a big fan of Phil Rivers. Six and two. I, I have them in the top five. I have the Chargers at five as well. They're three and one at home and three and one on the road. And remember, their home field advantage isn't a home field. You could argue the Chargers play every game mm. on the road, and they're still six and two. So I'm giving them a number five slot. I got the Chiefs at number four. Mahomes still right there with the rest. Um, they went on the road and won this week, but they beat Cleveland, so you don't get too many points for that. No. So uh, <laughs> if this was the college football playoff, they're in. Pittsburgh's out. I have the Chiefs at number four as well at eight and one. They're one loss. I don't penalize them with that one loss as much as maybe other people do. I love what the Chiefs have done all year. I have them at number four. I have a feeling that could jump up in a week or two, but they're number four for me. I got the Chiefs at four as well. Great offense. Defense is a little suspect at times, but they're still one of the five best teams in the NFL. Yeah. Patriots, number three for me. They beat the Chiefs. They're getting better. Gordon is getting more uh, a bigger part of their offense. Uh, there's not too much, you know. They won last week without Gronk and without Sony Michelle. So it's amazing. Patriots uh, plug in away. Number three. Number three. I have the Rams. Uh, it, it's tough, right? I easily could put them at number two. I guess I'll penalize them a little bit more losing that head-to-head -head matchup. Defense could be a little bit of an issue here as we move forward in the second half of the season, but they're number three for me at eight and one. I have the Rams at number three as well. I think there's an issue with that secondary. I think that. Look, I understand it's Drew Brees. I understand the Saints are an incredible team, but at some point, your secondary's got to at least give a little bit more of an effort mm. than giving up over 200 receiving yards to Michael Thomas. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. He's on the fantasy team. <laughs> All right, and number one. Uh, number two, excuse me. Uh, I got the Rams, obviously. I don't think there's much to explain here. They no. lost to the Saints. Now, if that game's on a neutral site, do I feel the same way? Eh, I think I still like the Saints a little bit more. The Saints are undefeated on the road, though. Yeah. I have the Patriots at number two, guys. I'm going to give them the slight edge. Uh, you went from the Chiefs being ahead of the Patriots. Yeah. And now yep. you're moving the Patriots above not only the Chiefs, yep. but everybody else. Explain yourself. Number yeah, two. I, I like the, yeah, but before they were behind the Chiefs. Yeah. Well, basically my head-to-head -head matchup with the Saints and the Rams, right? I'm giving that winner more credit than maybe the average person is. I'm also giving the loser more credit in a negative way than the average person is. The Patriots keep doing what they're doing. I'm moving them up. But the Chiefs, the Chiefs haven't Chiefs... done anything wrong either. I know. Changed my mind. <laughs> not allowed to adjust. I I, I admit. I, I adapt every week. I'm not going to stick stubbornly to it. And the top five, guys, I mean, what? We're, we're picking apples here. It's picking hairs. I have right? the Patriots at two as well because Cordello Patterson is our leading rusher for two straight weeks. Enough said. Yeah. Is he, he got running back uh, eligibility now in fantasy leagues. Does he really? Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And uh, I got the Saints number one. Saints. I do as well. Yep. Yeah. Drew Brees, MVP candidate. MVP. That is our fine five, ugly five for this week. Week number 10.